afternoon and welcome to Energy of Good afternoon and welcome to Energy of Park for the second round of the Bank of Ireland Leicester Senior Schools Cup. This afternoon sees the meeting of Blackrock College versus Terenure. Blackrock beat St. Michael's in an opening day thriller here at Energy of Park while Terenure overcame St. Pinton's High School. Blackrock come into today with just one change from the starting lineup against St. Michael's. Tom Brigg moves from the back row to second row today with Ignic Ignico Cruz O'Brien taking up the open side position. Captain Gus McCarthy is at hooker alongside Max Holmes and Paddy McCarthy in the front row. And Oliver Coffey and Zach Kirk are at 9 and 10 respectively. And they lead a very talented and excited backline. Terenure, no. There's a big challenge ahead of them today if they are to progress to their first final since 2009. Dara Brooks captains the team in the back row, which includes Sean Ruan and Alton Byrne. The front five will need to work hard to contain this much talented and talked of Blackrock pack. But no doubt the likes of Alex Cashman, Tim Staunton and Ushin Shannon will be up for the challenge. Terenure will be hoping to play an expansive game to bring in their back three, which includes James Clark, son of former Irish international Kieran Clark, alongside Regan Gallagher on the other wing and Jim Kennedy at fullback. Jack Grimes will lead the attack at 10. Well, Bernard, we had the pleasure of commentating on these games earlier, and uh, it's a beautiful day here. We can certainly hope to see some expansive rugby. Yeah, great great conditions. The crowd are starting to, to team into Donnybrook, and look at it. there's always been a huge rivalry between Terenure and Blackrock. Uh, go back 100 years, obviously, the last last 10 or 11 years, Terenure haven't managed to dine at the top table, but they certainly hope that this team is, is a team that will get them back up there. And there's a couple, a couple of interesting players that you've taken note of in this turn your side. Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of talk about the number 12, Iago Fernandez Villar. He is a Spanish uh, kid who came in as an exchange student in second year for a year and uh, really loved him so much. He decided to stay over, and his family have moved over. His family have moved over now to um, to Ireland. His mum played uh, rugby for Spain sevens actually, so there's rugby in his family, and he's someone to watch. And I think he wants to stay on and try and make the representative teams in Leinster. And also Dara Brooks, their, their number six, is a, a very very good flanker as well. So um, they're two key men for Terenure today. Up front, as always, will be a crucial area for Terenure. The Blackrock pack have been uh, much talked about, a lot of uh, representative players in there. So what do you think uh, Turnure will need to do to try and nullify that quick Blackrock ball? Look, I think there's huge pressure on their, on their front row, Cashman, Byrne and Staunton, um, to give them that scrum platform. Obviously, you can only push a metre and a half, but being able to manipulate the angle, being able to have good ball to strike off is, is key. And we saw Blackrock Turnure having a ferocious battle, Blackrock and Michaels having a ferocious battle in round one. Yes, indeed, as we see the Blackrock players present themselves to their supporters the traditional song wonderful moment for those young players and then i was impressed with quite a number of those players in that last round uh, it, it was uh, a, a fairly professional performance it has to be said in particular gus mccarthy the captain at hooker very interesting player yeah gus mccarthy is obviously leinster under 19 he's captain this team, but also captain this junior cup team, really good leader, and, and when they needed him, he stood up to be counted. I also liked uh, Kevin Jackson at number eight as well. He was outstanding. There's referee Nigel Carell. Getting ready to get us underway here at Energia Park. He'll be ably assisted by his assistant referees, Tom Colton and Owen Crossan, as he calls in both sets of teams now to get this game underway. Fantastic turnout again here at Energia Park. Both schools very well supported. Fantastic Which sunny day here. Conditions yeah. are perfect for rugby. So it will be the, in the yeah. eyes and of the Black Rock back three you. for any high balls that they'll be receiving early in this game. Yeah. It's ready to get us underway in this quarterfinal, the first of four which will be aired exactly. here on Premier Sports over the next four days. Noise levels rising here in anticipation of this kick. And Quirk gets us underway. Good high start, good contest there from Blackrock, taken on straight away by McCarthy, tidying up that loose ball. Now it comes towards Mooney. Already Terenure on the back foot. As Blackrock go forward in the form of Tom Grip Brig, who moved That's from the back row 
in that last game. Back inside now towards Fritzinger, another much fancied player. Mullen. Seven offers. Not too many being committed to the breakdown. Both teams just sorting each other out. Big tackles coming in there. He's pulled in. Big hit from Ulton Byrne, driving things back. And it's good defence so far from Terran York. Working hard to contain this Blackrock outfit. Oh, lovely step back inside there by the out half. He can go through the middle. Paddy McCarthy, very impressive in that opening game against St. Michael's. And they go again. Chopped to the ground. Quirk on the outside. Nice little step. Back inside from Cooney. Safe, safe. Turn your defence. Standing firm, though. So far, no gaps. Quirk on towards McCarthy again. Looks to stay up as long as he can. And they go. A lovely little show and go there from Coffey. But he stopped quickly. Connor. Cruz O'Brien trying to come down this blind side. Again, the tackle's coming in. They're firm from Terenor, standing firm so far. Quirk goes a little bit wider this time towards Mooney. Maloney it was, who was brought to the ground. Lovely little pass out the back door from Cooney. Bringing in Quinn. Yeah. Walsh it was. No way through so far. Huge amount of phases here for Blackrock. Back inside from Quirk again, bringing in fullback Ruben Maloney. Once again, that defence brings him to the ground. Turn, you're not competing at the breakdown. Quirk now towards Luke Kritzinger. Push back, push back. Uses that big frame of his to try and charge forward. Maloney. Involved a lot so far in this game. Pick and go through the middle. The gap is opened up for Brick. Okay. Legally, so says the referee. Pull him back. What a defensive set from Terenio, Reggie. Two minutes 40. They, Blackrock had the ball. They got it directly back from the kickoff. And, you know, they're using all their big power carriers, like some Max Holes, Paddy McCarthy, uh, Kevin uh, Kevin Jackson, even Maloney came in looking for to create a, a, an opportunity. But Terenio went into a 14-1. Defensive system took a bit of a gamble. There was a lot of kick space, but reckon the Black Rock would try and wear them down, ball in hand, and uh, they didn't the contest the breakdown. Clearing it very well. Really That's good discipline, and uh, yeah, they get they eventually force a, a penalty and get a chance to exit. They don't seem to be competing at the breakdown yeah, turn. You're happy enough really? to let Black yeah. Rock have the ball. They're trusting their defensive system. Yeah, they, they, they know because of the size and power of Black Rock, they're going to have to commit two men into the tackle, and we've seen that one high, one low, and you know. They, they lost a couple of collisions, but in general, Black Rock didn't get too much go forward. And um, if you're going to commit yeah, two to the tackle, the it's all. probably a little bit dangerous to put a third man in there. And they'd rather have line integrity and men on feet. Yeah. Just calling back, you can see Tom Brig thought he was through that gap. Nothing in front of him. Wonderful feeling in a schools cup match when you see everything open up in front of you. I thought he. But he thought he was away there, but yeah. penalty had been given away just before that. So now Terenor with an opportunity and their first real chance to get any possession. As we see Grimes put that one, and it's a good kick as well. Brings play to just the halfway line, and as I said, the first chance after so much rugby in those opening few minutes is for us to see what Terenor can do. Yeah, we got to give credit to the Black Rock number 10, Zach Quirk. He put the Kick off on, on a sixpence, and, and Black Rock got up and got it back. And from there, the just their ability to recycle the ball was was so impressive. Yeah. But equally, the, the turn your defence the 15, deserves please. massive credit. Stake there at the lineup, but tidied up. I'll move there. Sorry. Now turn your with a chance to go forward. Black Rock defence getting organised. Ball from Keeney. Look to go wide, that's Clark, James Clark. As I said in the intro, son of former Irish international Kieran Clark, who's here watching the game, probably not more nervous than his son. Turnover ball, that's good from Rock. 
Maloney again. Fine. He's involved. Still going forward. There we're seeing the power that this Black Rock forwards have. Lovely little oh, grubber kick through. Thank it's you. an awkward one. It's well dealt with though. Picked up by Kennedy. On this surface, it's always okay, it's a little bit of a gamble Control which challenges. way those balls will bounce. Stop there. Yeah, good. But straight into the arms of Kennedy that time, and they launch one back down again. Taken well by Andrew Quinn. He'll try and find a gap through. Huge hit coming in there from the second row. Cohen Doyle puts him down. Arms up off ground. Took a bit of a knock in that last tackle. Doyle slow getting back to his feet. Work on the outside. The space there. A lovely pass over the top from Kritzinger. Finds it all the way out towards Walsh. Steps back inside, looking for the support of his forwards. His backs instead. Help him out. Coffee moves Fight it away. Kunda is in trouble, Reggie. He's turning your defender with 14 at the moment as he tries to limp back into the line. Yeah, took a big knock and looked to the ankle of the knee in that tackle. On we go. Zach Quirk now bringing back in Ruben Maloney. Through the middle goes Coffee. Found a little gap. He looked for the offload. Still there, Maloney once again on hand to take that pass from Brig. Still going forward now, Blackrock ever closer, just five metres out on the outside towards Maloney. He'll try a little gap, just closes at the last minute. Coffee onto the captain McCarthy, show and go from him. Can he make the line? He's there. Great play from Blackrock, consistent pressure, and eventually that turn your line breaks down. But a good finish there from the captain McCarthy to get the first score on the board for Black Rock. Yeah, it all started with a really good pass down the left-hand side from Kurt Singer, the South African-born centre. And from there, Black Rock's punched holes up the middle. We see here, Black Rock defender just don't get a, off the five. a pillar in on the blind side. Brilliant little half-break by, by Coffey. And then from there, they're on the front foot. And Black Rock, or Black Rock don't give Turnier a chance to get reset. And, you know, you think Maloney's going to score here, but he goes himself. Yeah, okay, pal. And from this, the hooker, Max McCart Gus McCarty, comes flying around the corner, off, okay. and you're not going to stop him from that range. Great team try for Blackrock. Yeah, and this, you mentioned it in the build-up. Coon Doyle had picked up that knock. He still managed to make a tackle somewhere in the middle of all of that phases of play, but he just wasn't able to get there, back into the line, and the gaps opened up, and Blackrock took full advantage. Yeah, he made a great tackle on the Blackrock winger, Andrew Quinn, who was running the ball back from, from the clearance kick from, from Jack, Jack Ryan. But uh, unfortunately, it looks like he's going to have no further part to play. And two injuries, in fact, now for Terry Neur. So, Kuhn Doyle is still receiving treatment. But Alton Byrne also picked up a knock in that build-up. And he's had yeah, to come off. Ben Nolan will have to come on for Alton Burn. Not the start the Terenure would have wanted to lose two of their crucial packs so early in this game. Kuhn Doyle still trying to okay. walk off that ankle injury he seems to have picked up. Are you are you happy if I let the just kick go and then I'll put time off? Talking to the referee the now. Okay? Yeah, okay, just stay on the line then, yeah. He'll want okay. to try and stay on, especially since they've just lost yeah, Alton Byrne. And then I'll put time off again, let them get treated, okay? But now, Zach Quirk ah, will have that. the attempt at this conversion. <laughs> These lads are not bigger than me to take it. So <laughs> if there is any breeze yeah, yeah, today, yeah. and there's not much, it's probably into his face, coming from right to left here at Energy Park, but it's very little. Struck it well, can it turn around? It's just on the outside of that right post. So, we're failing to add the two points. But nonetheless, checking, you guys are okay just the start Black Rock would have wanted. I'm just checking all you guys yeah, are okay but from a turn your point of view, it looks Happy like Coon Doyle is going to okay. continue and try and run off that, that injury. And uh, yeah, he, he's got some treatment. So, from a turn your point of view, they'll be hoping he can stay on. Obviously, haven't lost Ulton Byrne, who's a key player for them. Are you picking left? Yeah, nice. Now, Terenure 
They're desperate to try and get their way back into this. They try a little dinky one. Did it reach the line? He's no, says the referee. Down. Didn't quite make the 10 meters. So that's a miss kick from Grimes. Puts retake. the pressure straight back on the pack. With Blackrock getting the advantage here. Yeah, it's always a difficult one. Tactically, you want to okay. give your forwards up to chase and get a little bit of possession, having not touched the ball, but fortunately just a metre short there, so it gives Blackrock a great scrum opportunity right in the middle of the field. They're stacking the left-hand side, but, you know, don't be surprised if they, if they pay right to this guy, Andrew Quinn, on the right wing, who's very dangerous. The irony is, if it had been a metre for, further on, the turn your forwards were right there, and they've been through the gap. Fine margins. Blackrock now. Put in comes from Coffey, it's yeah. there. At the feet of Jackson, digs it out. They go left instead. Big tackle coming in again. And illegally bridging over the ball is the call from the referee. Immediately the whistle went there. So good defence again coming in from Terry York. Oh, that was a brilliant read by the, the nine, Killian Keeney. There's been a huge rivalry him, between him this year and Peter McNamara, the sub nine, and he just gets that right. He guesses where they're going to go, makes a good hit, and Blackrock come off their feet trying to secure the ball. Outside, Have a cop, yeah. been caught behind the game line. Okay, yeah, it's Hugh Cooney there coming in from the side and eagerly and uh, just sealing oh, off that ball. Change, now, a real opportunity. The first line it didn't go right, very well for Terry York. So they'll be looking to try and fix that. A chance for them to try and show us what they can do. Hooker Byrne throws, it's overthrown though. Picked up well. On they go. Push back, go way, way back. Pick and drives coming from Cruz O'Brien. Put it back. Cooney now looks to get it on the outside. And here's this dangerous. Winger that you mentioned, Andrew Quinn, Bernard, looking to get some space. He's closed down quickly, though. It's there for Coffey. Bringing in the forwards again. Cruz O'Brien makes another half a metre. Coffey puts it out to Quirk. Lovely That's ball good. over the top from Kritzinger as well. They have to reach, but they picked it up, and it's a beautiful pass. Kennedy tried to get across. The little dink is coming. Where is this one going to end up? Just finds its way into touch. Clever kick. Oh, some but lovely no rubbing by Blackrock. You know, being able to like, throw real win on those passes. The likes of Coffey, the number nine, and Zach Quirker firing the ball out. And then Kurt Singer, we saw him using his power yeah. against St. Michaels, but he's shown some deft hands to be able to get the ball to space. And, uh, line is the middle. Yeah, the turn your, the line is starting to creak, and now they've got a line of five yards out. Keith Byrne under a little bit of pressure. Calls coming in to him. Trying to shorten it down. Is he half you? Okay, are you Looking half to half? get that walk in. Okay. Four man line out. The step and moving towards the back, it goes towards Brooks, the captain, but once again doesn't go to hand. It's picked up well. Blackrock now with a huge opportunity. Lee Maloney drops the shoulder, goes forward again. Coffee looking to dig that ball out of there, goes to his tight head prop. McCarthy again to see if he can find a way through. Coffee has plenty outside him. Captain ships that on to his loose head, Max Holmes. They go back down towards that goal post line again quick ball coming from coffee the carry comes in from mullen it's there again they've numbers on that left side they're lining up big drive coming in they reach the line is he held up no he's there says the referee carol got himself right there and luke kritzinger using every pound in that huge frame of his to force his way over that line and finish it off yeah really good pressure on the line out from from black rock they gambled on on, on turning your throne to the back and got a pot up uh, just in front, it was a good throw, just got stolen. And, and from here, then, it was Max Holmes on the carry. Use it one more playoff nine with, with a big forward in, in Mullen. And then that, that line from Kurt Singer, we, you know, it's the Robbie Henshaw, it's the, the Jamie Roberts line where the center comes from wide back against the grain. And so hard <coughs> to stop when you, when you have a player that power hitting the ball at that speed. Yeah, and Terran, you're now really starting to feel the pressure coming from this. Relentless attack performance from Blackrock. From Zach Quirk. Slightly better side for him as he tries to swing this one in with his left boot. Strikes it well. So that one just leaking away to the left hand side as well. Little shake of the head from him. 
going back, just not happy with how he's striking that ball. But nonetheless, they're scoring tries, they're scoring points. And now they've eased out a 10-point lead early on in this game. Same way, mate. Same way. Terry Muir, Jack Grimes will be very keen to try and get this one right. Goes slightly longer instead, not taking any chances. It's picked up well by Andrew Quinn. Ooh, big hit coming in from him. Push back. Again, doing all that donkey work, the big carries. Maloney must have 10 carries to his name at this stage in the game. That was actually Jackson. Okay, don't. It was a great tackle there by Keith Byrne to turn your hooker on. On Adam, Andrew Quinn, he was really coming at speed and put his body on the line. Jim Kennedy now looking to try and find some space for a run. We haven't seen much from this Terran Your back line yet. They haven't had much ball. A little Grover kick comes through. It's a clever kick, but it doesn't find touch. It's read well by Zach Quirk. It does brilliantly to keep it in play. Still on his feet. Happy now getting in there. Using the forward runners. Five, again, open. lovely little offload from him off the deck to Cruz O'Brien. Through the middle, go to Blackrock. Finding leaks in that no. turn, your defence in close and breaks out. The penalty goes against them. Okay. Coming in and sealing off that ball. So the mistakes starting to creep in on top of all the pressure that they're under turn your so... Blackrock really okay. starting to look like they're in control of this game, Bernard. Yeah, look, I think Terranure are, are, are defending with everything they have. Their work rate they're, and, and their honesty is huge. Just power, they're, they're just losing that extra meter in the collisions. And you saw Paddy McCarthy there, he, he gets over the game and then he just definitely slips the ball one hand and they get another couple of meters. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's just difficult to see if Terranure don't get some possession. Um, and get a little bit of confidence and build away into the game. Up. It's going to be difficult to just defend uh, as they have been doing for the first 40 minutes. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you a they've chance. had some line-out chances, but it hasn't worked. They've lost three line-outs already, haven't had a scrum opportunity, and Blackrock are just going through all of those first phase in. options, providing really clean quality ball for the likes of Coffey and Quirk to dictate things in that back line. They go now and again, it's Hold another back. good set yeah, piece good. from Blackrock as they set up that drive. You can see McCarthy at the back trying to get his hands on it, the captain. Takes a little break off the left now, looks for a gap, needs to make sure he doesn't get isolated. It's there though, good ball once again. The tight head McCarthy, he's going all the way, McCarthy. Huge drive from the tight head. Two or three players tried to drag him down to the ground, but there was no stopping him from that distance. And a great finish, and he's been involved a lot already. Ah, oh, look at him—he's such a promising player. I know um, where yeah. he scored that try is just in front of the Leinster yeah, yeah, Academy enough. offices, sub academy offices. I'm sure there's three or four coaches in there watching this game, as they are for all the schools' games. And you know, he's just someone that they know a lot about already. But in in the, in the first round against Michaels, and so far in this game, he's just been so impressive, so powerful. And uh, look at that—you know—that's an incredible finish from a, uh, from any player. Never mind, you know, your tight prop. Yeah. You've got a tight head running against backs in that open area. Kick now is good from Quirk. He'd be glad to uh, break his duck today. The third time lucky. Sails through the middle, but it wasn't a difficult for one for him. The work done from his tight head, putting it right under the sticks for him. So now, real test of the character for these Terran Europe players. And it goes again. It's easily taken there, unchallenged by Alex Mullen. Again, brave tackling coming in. But it's much of the same for Terran Europe, just lining up to make those tackles. Black Rock recycling the ball as they go outside again, and there's space on this outside as Kritzinger puts it on the game. outside towards Maloney. Lovely hands all the way out again. And in comes Cooney to pick up that outside pass. And it's just relentless from Black Rock, and it's starting to open up a little bit now, Bernard, and you'd worry a little bit for Terranure. Well, you look at it, Reggie, we're, we're six, 17 minutes in, and Terranure only had a, three or four phases of, of play, and uh, in fairness, it's, it's not down to them alone, it's down to the brilliance of Black Rock, their ability to recycle the ball, their ability to tread around the breakdown, and here, the ability to go wide, and it's... It's brilliant play. It's actually Cooney throws that first pass, but look how he works upfield. 
And as Gus McCarthy, who holds the weight on the outside, throws that pass inside, he's there to pick up the scraps and outpace everybody and score in the corner. And yeah, it's, it is worrying times for Terenor, but we have to say that the, the level of performance and accuracy of Black Rock, you know, in the first 70 minutes has been outstanding. I don't think many teams could live with him. What pace there was from McCarthy, the hooker out there on the wing. Uh, he, he, he only looked like he was jogging as he was keeping up with the inside backs and wingers around him. Yes, the second time he's got a great ball down the, the left hand side. The first time he put a lovely kick over the top, which which gave uh, Black Rock of, or Turner a five meter line out, five yards out. So um, he looks like a, a real all round baller. Big strike again coming in, of course, but that one just dragging to the right of the right hand upright. Difficult kick from that touchline. But as I said, when you can score tries the way Black Rock can. I'm here we see it again. Beautiful hands from Black Rock, just drawing the players. Carthy, clever. A little bit fortunate there that the pass managed to find its way through to Cooney. But nonetheless, they'll take that. Terry Muir now desperately Three trying stop. to change yep. things, going to the other nice. side of the pitch. They come back across now from Fernandez Villar. Talented young player, haven't seen much of what this turn your backline can do yet. Okay, good. Fine. Dink over the top doesn't quite go right, but it's all too easy for Alex Muller back. to tidy that one up. On. No. Testing kick towards the corner, and once again, measured perfectly. Beautiful kick. Yeah, he's been really impressive, hasn't he? Oliver Coffey, the Leinster under 18s, uh, scrum half. He's he's probed when when the defence haven't been set. We just saw there. He's able to scan the backfield and see where the space is for for a kick like that. And um, yeah, the most important thing with Terry Muir is they don't go off script now and they don't individually try and try and take Black Rock on their own. They got to try and find the, the patterns of play um, and, and have a little bit of possession for a while and take the sting out of a of a Black Rock team who have massive momentum. They need to try and get their set piece working. It hasn't done so far. The lineout's been difficult. They're trying to move things around now. That pass, and this time they do win one. Good pass from Keith Byrne, or throw from yeah, Keith Byrne, the hooker, in fact. Trying to put that little box kick up now for Clark to chase. A little bit too much on it for him, though. Couldn't find any way through. Look at this. Andrew Quinn finding a little bit of space, and there's numbers on the outside if Blackrock can move this ball. Maybe the wrong option that time. I think Hans would have been the better yeah, option there, Bernard. Yeah, Hans for sure, the better option. But in fairness to uh, Regan Gallagher, he's the right winger for Terrier. Oh, yeah, he was outnumbered there and he you know he bought time, he came up for a second, then he went back. But this is this fella, you don't want to kick to him loosely. You know, Andrew Quinn, he's so dangerous, he's got power footwork, yeah, and you see from that then they want to get to wit and you just see okay. here, Regan Gallagher, he, he, he uses the touchline, oh, and the last minute he bites in and makes makes Maloney throw a poor pass into touch. Yeah, but uh, the problem for Turner is Blackrock are making so few errors. I think that's probably two or three yeah. errors they made the whole game. There's a player Sorry, down. The referee is just going to hold things while we get attention. I think it may have been okay, a, a, no, a no, quick okay, fact when he's making that run. Just it's up to you to count the numbers. They don't, they don't have to tell you. He's a little bit, but he's back on his feet now. They don't have to tell you, you've got to count. Blackrock try and organise a defensive line out here. Turn your Keith Byrne has gotten the instruction from his pack of forwards. Back. Trying right, to get some movement in around that line out area. Dara Until Brooks, you can see the scrum cap there, number six, the captain, moving towards the back. He's the target man. Hold and it's a good times. take. Hold. The setup is there. Well defended from Blackrock. Up goes the box kick. Now there's the chase. They need to get in the air. Advantage. Just knocked forward this and time. Advantage. A rare error coming in from the Black Rock players. Stop. And it will be a Terenure scrum and the first real first set winger. piece chance at scrum winger. for Terenure to show us. Chase, yeah, absolutely. And a good chase there, good pressure in the air. Um, I think the sun, sun is in the eyes for the team playing towards the Wesley end and very hard to claim that. Just Mark is here. And gives Terenure a set Let's piece, again, yeah. you know, in an area of the field that they haven't spent a lot of time in. Thanks. We said before the game that. In order for Terenior to make an impression, they would need to try and get some width on this game. Maybe not mix it up with the forwards quite so much. They haven't really had an opportunity to bring in their back line. There's plenty of excitement in that back three with Kennedy, Gallagher and Clark, but we just haven't had a chance to see it yet. So maybe off this scrum, big shove coming in though from Blackrock. Somehow Terenior managed to work that ball back. Now they look to get width on it to Clark. Step from him is good. 
Clark's got a little bit of space, he's got support on the inside. Brilliant top tackle coming in from Cooney, just yeah, to stop that break from James Clark. Need to get this ball down the ground, it's been held up well by Kevin Jackson. Now they'll need to get away, but it was held up. Referee Carell was right there. And it was great work from the Black Rock number eight there just to keep his hands on that ball and keep it off the deck. Yeah, absolutely. And first of all, great strike by Keith Byrne, the, the turn your hooker. It looked like Black Rock had actually walked Happy. over the ball, Happy. but he somehow managed to get it back to the eight's feet. And we saw, you know, we'd heard a lot about James Clark before this game, but we saw how dangerous he is there, Reggie. Just the first big moment turn you've had, and hopefully that gives him a little bit of confidence, even though it didn't end in anything in terms of points on the board. Yeah, and he was away too. Just that little tap tackle from Cooney, who did well to get back and just get enough on it. Break up to stop that turn your attack my calls and I you swear before the engage on the inside as well we had sense? Killian Keeney just chasing up on the inside of Clark if okay keep it the keep pass it had been able well. to get away but as I said okay that's where you're Cooney's that's timing right. was perfect okay, good. crouch bind yeah. Set. Rock scrum just outside the 22. Stay until, yeah, that's fine. Feed is good from Coffee. Yeah. It's there for him to move on the open side. On Kritzinger with a good step back inside. Lovely offload. Two lovely offloads from Cooney as well to keep this attack moving forward. Good support coming in from Cruz O'Brien. Sorry, hey, Maloney bad. with the big drive forward. Good clear out coming in. Ball in behind oh, again for Quirk. Kritzinger straightening again. Good tackle coming in. Push back, push. Yeah, good. Well Line speed is set. On goes Alex Mullen. Advantage. Little bobble there. Knock on. Referee right there. Well, Just a little mistake. Unusual for Black Rock, but a chance again for Terenior to get some possession. Yeah, just a little mistake as, as they try to present the ball, but Ternier starting to put a little bit more heat on the defensive breakdown. In fairness, they, they have to slow down that back ball though, yeah. because you know Sorry, it's, it's so quick at the moment yeah. that they can't get reset and get any chance to get off the line. Crouch, bind, wait. Referee just trying yeah, to get things organised. Get the scrum. Wants that back row Sorry, down and bound. See him giving clear instructions. Okay, nothing soft away like that, okay? Yeah. It's a good turnout Whoa. here. Crouch. In Angia Park. Crouch. See the supporters really Five. getting into this. Black Rock. Supporters will feel that this Set. could be their year. Having taken care of Michaels yeah. in the earlier rounds. And a big drive coming in from their pack of forwards now. We're just up. Standing up in the front row. I need that stripe straighter. Don't yeah, that up. first this has been a very impressive area, even though at school's level it rarely leads to much because you can only push a metre yeah, and a half. But as you know, Reggie, psychologically, yeah, you know, being part of a full five, we're getting pushed back like that. Uh, it also disrupts, it, it's demoralising, but also disrupts the quality of your strike play Crouch. off the back of it. So again, here they'll be looking for a, a good introduction from Keeney at nine, good strike back from Keith Byrne to uh, Ben Nolan, who's, who's moved into the back row and, and play away from. Oh, they, they lost it. Turned over again. The pressure just too much coming in from that black rock. Can't get the scrum organized. The timing is good from that drive. Coffee now shifts it out towards Jackson. Back inside. Here he goes again. Lovely pass over the top once again to Walsh from Cooney. Loves that little flick out the back door. Kelly McCarthy, who loves to carry a ball and go through the door. Quirk now, Cooney again, bringing in the back line, right little down. kick in behind, and it's clever play. And this is what we're seeing a lot of, you know, they're well able to go through the hands, they're well able to go on the outside, but when it needs it, they can put in a really accurate kick like that as well, Bernard. Yeah, I think we're seeing the, the full complement of Black Rock today against Michaels. It was such a tense game, you know, we didn't see the, the all-round skill set they had, but as you mentioned there, you know, we saw Cooney put a lovely one-handed pass over the top. You they were seeing the it. balance in their play. We saw a dominant scrum where they pushed Turnier off. The defensive line looks very good, so, you know, hugely impressive uh, performance no so far from Black Rock. Burn now with the throw. Once again, go towards the middle, and it's taken well. Yeah. Turnier have responded very well to a difficult situation, the amount of pressure that they're under. 
They look to clear their lines here, but again, the whistle blows. McCarthy gets in there and gets right. his hands on that ball at the breakdown. He's yeah, in a fairness, Turnier, they're starting to find a little bit of space because the Blackhawk defensive line so good, but then from the breakdown, they're trying to play a phase to open up the, the space for the exit kick, and Pat, Pat, Paddy McCarthy just gets in there, and you can't shift him. That's fine, yeah. Hey, guys. A huge I'll give you attacking opportunity now for Blackrock. They would dearly love to get another score on the board just before they go in at half time. Ball is taken well. It's around the corner. McCarthy again. Lovely flick out the back. Just doesn't go to hand. It's knocked on on this occasion by Gus McCarthy. The pass just not quite pass anyway, high so. enough going down around the ankles. But again, we're just seeing the mix that they can bring. Yeah, in fairness, I think Turnier were probably set up for the mall there. Yeah, okay, I want you to keep on that They're really there. smart by, by the back off. Paddy McCart McCarty leaves the line out, um, and then he just breaks down the blind side. And in fairness, yeah, he's probably a bit nonchalant straight. there. That's that he, he could probably pass that two hands. But uh, a lucky escape for Turnier, but nice creative front peel by Blackrock. Doesn't look as good on the replay reel, the show reel for later on. But it is a try. On a begging, and here we go again. Huge push coming in from Blackrock. That turn your scrum under pressure, managed to get it away. Well, though, Fernandez Villar to say that, yeah. tries to take it up. Now, the forwards, okay, we're good. big hits coming in again from Cruz O'Brien that time. Keely now trying to get as okay, much distance on this one as he can and relieve a little bit of pressure. And as well as everything, Bernard, the energy that's used in those scrums when you're getting pushed back, you said mentally fatiguing, but yeah, also good, physically, yeah, yeah. they're getting drilled back in the scrums at line out town trying to defend malls. It's just energy sapping okay. stuff. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And this, this turn your pack here, having to move all around the field because of the width the Blackhawk put on the game, but also, as you said, the physicality and energy needed to stop them up front. It's a really daunting task. Blackhawk are lining up here. They've you got Tom Brigg, who, of course, played in the back row in that first game against St. Michael's, moved into the second row. He's out there ready for a pass ball. He's up alongside Kevin Jackson, so you've got big forwards, and they come back down this blind side. Lovely ball back inside. The defence stood firm, though. Ruben Maloney brought to the ground. A really good interaction between forwards and backs there from Blackrock. Zach Quirk trying to find a gap. Lovely offload from him. Towards Alex Mullen, gallops forward again. Coffee with a little sniping run. Quirk steps into that 10 position. McCarthy again, looking for that ball, and on he goes again. Lovely flick on from McCarthy again. Really good skills. And he's back in Bob once more to pick that ball up from Jackson, short, reaching short. for the line just short. Defense needs to be good here from Terran York. Pick and go again on the left side. Big drive coming in, inches away. Picked up by Mullen, driven back, really, really good defence, brave defending from Terenor, but then in the end that defence gives way and Alex Mullen manages to find a gap through which he can dive and right under the sticks again, just as, as we're approaching the end of this first half and another body blow to Terenor. And in fairness, there's not a lot Terenor can do, but they're so brave, That's as you it, said, Reggie, you know, Defending relentless amount of pick right, goals here. Look at that technique and bravery. You know, stopping Black no, Rock. No, but Black well, Rock, they, they just then. don't. They don't gamble. They just keep presenting the ball, Two. and eventually, just using the post as a little bit of a uh, as a blocker. They just dive in underneath because Turnier can't get that outside defender to come in. But again, Paddy McCarthy all over it. But you know, Turnier, you can't fault their bravery and and attack technique. But just physically, Black Rock seem to be bigger men all over the field. Yeah, and with that pick and drive, there isn't really anybody standing in front of them to make those tackles, so it's quite easy for the big men in the front row to pick and drive as the kick comes through from Zach Quirk, and an easy one for him, right in front of the stick, swings that left boot of his at it, puts it right between them, and brings the scoreline up to 29 points, which is uh, going to be tough now for Terenura going in at half-time to try and keep their spirits up as they come out into the second half with a scoreline like that against them. Sorry. Change direction. Grimes picked up, though, by the captain, McCarthy, again. He's everywhere. Yeah. He's on the wing. He's full back. He's in Ball the line-out. I agree. Behind the back foot. Setup is there again. Jackson flicks it out on that outside. Mullen again. 
He's full of energy now after that score, giving him a lift. On they go again, Maloney this time. I'd like to see his stats at the That's end of the game for carries and yards made. Set it up well. Coffee now readying himself for launching one up. Good. Puts a bit of distance on this one. Terrier organise themselves. Villar, a lovely step from him. Sorry. And he's got pace if he can find some space. Fernandez Villar. And once again, holding on is the call. We can see McCarthy getting in there quickly on that ball alongside Cooney. Yeah, it's cruel for Terrier. I mean, Brilliant counter-attack and run from Fernandez Villar. We, we heard how good he was and how, how much hope is built around him. But straight away, Gus McCarthy just gets in there and gets a great a great turnover. And Black Rock now go down the line. But look at the footwork from him there. But look at McCarthy. It's a really good body position. And Turner send bodies in, but they can't affect the, the, the jackler. And he gets to stay long enough to win the penalty. Yeah, it's just impossible. And it often happens when you get a good break like that. The rest of your teammates kind of get lost. And McCarthy didn't panic, he just got in there half, straight away on back. that ball and left okay. the referee in no doubt but to give the penalty. As we look at this throw, finding the back and Maloney, out it goes towards Jackson. Once again, in come the tackles and the space in there, left-hand side, but it's knocked on this time. Turn your hey, habit. They look to go from this. Yeah, yeah. We'll go back for that knock on. And once seconds. again, turn you're just sort of living on scraps a little bit at the moment. Yeah, and the problem is, that, you know, the last couple Marcus of scrums here. haven't really gone to plan, so this is no guarantee they're going to win this back. But again, you, brave okay. defence on the blind side. They're using Blackhawk, using McCarthy to come in. And, and, and smash there and you know two men hit him and he'd, he'd lose the ball but the black rock back row Great. reggie has been phenomenal jackson you know inigo cruz o'brien who came in today and play against michaels and lee maloney the, the cousin of ross maloney to, as, a, as a as a unit they've been very impressive turn you're now with the free kick when they look to go they look a little bit shell-shocked don't yeah. they there's no real energy about turn you at the moment they're just uh, happy to just kick this one away there's no Enthusiasm to have a quick tap and go and try and find some gaps. Yeah, I think they'll be glad to get a dressing room at halftime and get some, and then, get some yeah, I just need counsel to from the coaches. And they'll do that just now as the referee calls an end to that first half. A first half which saw five tries from McCarthy, Kritzinger, McCarthy got two, Cooney and Mullen, of course. And it brings the score at half time. 29 points to Black Rock, turn your nil. Father, son, carefree, hopeless romantic, best friend, in a word, you. Hybrid by nature, all new Renault Arcana. Whatever your dreams, little one, together we can make them come true. If we learn today, we can build tomorrow. Inspired by 40 years of breast milk research, Aptamil follow-on milk contains vitamin D to support the normal function of the immune system today for tomorrow. Trust the UK's number one brand for follow-on milks. Including Aptamil organic follow-on milk made with certified organic ingredients. What the? They've only just gone on sale and there's not a single ticket left for the Robot Tech Expo. Zero. Sometimes zero is good. Like with eToro, enjoy 0% commission on stock investments. eToro. Download the app today. At Allbirds, we like to keep things nice and natural. So to demonstrate the incredible lightness of our shoes, we skip the Hollywood special effects and set up a few strategically placed electric leaf blowers.
Oh, we should also mention they're soft and cosy and make great prezzies. Live happy and go long haul for less this summer. You can choose from over 25 destinations, including Jamaica and Aruba, and save up to £300 per booking. Plus, all at our protective. So, relax and get booking. Tui, live happy. To Energy of Park, and just a note to any new Premier Sport viewers that Premier Sports is the home of United Rugby Championship in Ireland and the UK, and is the only TV channel showing every game live later today. You can catch the Ospreys game against Zebra at 2 p.m. on Premier Sports 1. We'll be back here at Energy of Park all week long for the other three quarterfinals. Coverage tomorrow, Tuesday, and Wednesday begins at 2.50. And a good performance in this first half from Blackrock. As we see, Nine, the try kick. from Cooney. Wonderful build-up as the pass comes back inside from Gus Nine, McCarthy. Cooney, Cooney picking that loose ball up as it runs loose. And finishing it off in style in the corner. The first half which had seen Blackrock dominant in this game against Terenure, who are putting in a brave performance and doing everything they can to try and contain Blackrock. But at the moment, Bernard, Blackrock just showing way too much power. It's incredible um, how physically dominant they are. And when you have that dominance in a collision, everything else becomes easy. And, you know, the Terenure coaches are in inside now trying to give the players a little bit of belief, but they're also trying to give them some cues that they can maybe get some get some possession in this game or get some kind of foothold in this game because this game could get very nasty quite quickly without turning or doing anything wrong it's just at the moment they're not able to slow black rock down in any way it's a little bit of a concern that we're seeing such strength in, in schools like the likes of black rock and st michael's being so dominant and turn who were uh, for, for so many years a force in this competition they haven't been in a final since 2009 is there any worry that maybe some of the schools are falling away well there, there certainly is I mean uh, you know for a, a school like Terran uh, such a big school with a, with a rich ruby heritage not to to be you know winning cups uh, every every four or five years or certainly in finals is is a worry and um, at first I think though it, it's credit to Black Rock and Michaels for what they've done in terms of pushing on and I know I know my own school New Newbridge College are, are trying to get to that level where year on year they're competitive and create a really good environment for for the for the players but uh you know what we're seeing here is a you know is, is a is a is a very very impressive black rock team and um you know turn your are going to have to learn lessons from this and, and try and make sure that they you know in years to come they're more competitive and there has been good development in in some of the other schools you look at the likes of gonzaga and as you said newbridge causing some shocks and even schools like kilkenny of course um you know getting stronger as the, as the years pass by yeah the, the thing is Reggie it's, it's not just the rugby coaching it's now it's about the SNC it's about the nutrition the sports psychology the alignment all the way down through the school and then some of it's down to numbers as well so um, you know Gonzaga have a very good team this year and, and they could be the team that you know put it up to, to Black Rock as, as, as we'll see over the next couple of days in the other quarterfinals but certainly um, it's a uh, it takes a lot of investment a lot of time to get it right as Terran York make their way back out onto the pitch. Yeah, Diego Fernandez Villar in the centre coming out, and I'm sure we're going to see quite a number of changes across the board for both teams as uh, Blackrock will feel that they're in control of this game. They can probably yeah. afford to bring on some of their bench. I need to see a lift, yeah. There's one there that was close, but you didn't get a lift on it, so let him play it out, yeah. Yeah, it's got to be a lift. And it's not straight away either, OK? Can't have been an easy team talk at halftime for Terran York. But no doubt they'll come out in this second half. As we see Ben Nolan chasing on this right-hand side. The sub coming on. Clearly now trying to dance his way 
around the defenders. And it comes towards Jackson again. Blackrock yeah, using the short side. side. Maloney. Use it! Provides that extra bit of space. Stay. For Oliver Coffey to set up that box kick. Launches one high. Turn your players getting in each other's way. Somehow taken by Gallagher on that occasion. The location wasn't great. But they managed to sort it out. Keeney now. Now it's back up. Getting some ball presented to him to set up the box kick. Yeah. Puts a bit of decent air on this one. Underneath it is Cooney. Good hands from him again. Uses own Walsh on his left side. And it's easy for Blackrock just setting up those balls as McCarthy drops the shoulder and goes straight through the middle. Makes 10 metres on that drive, the tight head prop. Work now, able to put it on the outside where there's space. Kurt Singer puts it out to fullback Maloney, who ships that ball on towards the replacement for Blackrock, Van Zydem, who has come on at half time. Kevin Jackson involved in that play as well. Hey, good. Lovely dink over the top from McCarthy, just too much air on that one. Yeah, but once again, we're just seeing Black Rock's ability to go coast to coast from all the way down the right-hand side, using the replacement Van Slydum to, to get over the gain line. And then Gus, the Gus McCarty, he likes to hold width, yeah, and he's yeah. getting that communication in for the kick space, but unfortunately, just slightly overcooked. I know, yeah, but just stay with him, OK? Turn your now with this line-out. Keith Byrne getting the instructions. From substitution, Matthew Lydon, who came on at half time. For Alex Cashman to go towards the back, it's taken just about by Cooan Doyle, managing to deflect it down. He's managed to run off that injury picked up in that first half. Front, front, front. Kick coming yeah, from good. Grimes. This has gone straight. Yeah. yeah. He's brought back in, so. It will be huge advantage for Blackrock right inside the turn your 22. Bit of an error, that one. Yeah, and a bit of an error, but again, they've got to get up in the air and contest. Um, yeah. You know, you don't want to give Blackrock easy ball, and the last time they managed to disrupt yeah, it, okay. fluff the exit, but if they can get it again, you know, they can do a little bit more with it. Sorry, sorry. The call has been in to McCarthy. Plenty of movement goes back, taken by Maloney. Down he comes. The mall is set up. Heave is the call from the supporters. They're right underneath the Black Rock supporters here in the stand. And edging closer towards that turn your line. McCarthy is at the back. Just breaks away now. Fancies himself to go all the way. The tackles are coming in desperately from Terran Your. Well, there for Coffee. Flicks it back outside towards Brig. Steps there. Needs some support now. It's there. Moving out towards Jackson. He's in there to support. McCarthy from that Shorts. distance. He's reaching again. Now he's not on the ball. Just short this time. Short again. Lost. Leave Five it down, comes. Leave it Coffee now. He has numbers on the outside, but good angle back inside and a brilliant approach from Hugh Cooney. Kept his body position low. Coming hard on that line against the defender's shoulders. And there's just no stopping him from that distance. Yeah, it comes off a really strong ball that Turner have to put in. Seven forwards to stop it. And Gus McCarthy, he breaks out, gets over the gain line. And from there, again, it's just this relentless wave after wave. And I think it's been a really impressive area from Black Rock, how they haven't coughed up any balls in, in this area. And again, you know, we saw uh, Kurt Singer running that line in the first half for a try, but Cooney gets in on the act as well. And really well timed and really good power. And Turner making more changes. Terran Ure now unloading their bench. There's well, the Cotton fancies his chance at taking some kicks. Terran Ure ringing the changes as we see. Josh Delaney coming on for Tim Staunton, Peter McNamara. 
getting in for Killian Keeney and Harvey O'Leary getting a run as well. Go along towards Maloney, it's picked up by him. Yeah. Oh, through the middle again, McCarthy playing out half today. Lovely kick over the top from the tight head. And he's chasing this down. Villar is going to have him carried hot over. on his back. He had to pick that one up. I thought it's carried over. Karen, you were 12. Did great to get back there. He wouldn't have. He could have felt McCarthy breathing down his neck, Bernard. Paddy McCarthy's just showing off now. He wasn't happy to, to break through the rook again. Get another big carry. He's shown his footballing skills and kicks it downfield and accurately put it so he doesn't go out. And, Black Karen, you have to carry it over, so five metre scrum. And you know, if, if this was full scrum, okay. Ross, you'd fancy Black Rock to, to drive it all the way over here, but he can only push a metre and a half. But it's going to be so hard to stop them from, from this range again. Yes, indeed. He's banned from the front row club after that display. Okay. What a game he's having. And of course, as you said, part of the Leinster under 19 squad, but. With performances like this, we'll be pushing for even higher honours. Yeah, you know, fit and good to Michael I Scrum Half has been talked about as being a, you know, one of those players that goes straight through to Leinster Academy and, and, and will play for Leinster, maybe Ireland, and certainly from this Black Rock team, you know, even though it's Thanks. packed with quality players, Paddy McCarthy's one that everyone has an eye on at the moment. Give me a good angle now, okay? Huge opportunity here now for Blackrock again to extend their lead. Scrum on the five meter line, Find. left hand side. Set. Keep there. Set is good. Ball is there. It's picked from the back easily by Jackson. Defense just manages to drag him down two meters from the line. It's there for Coffee. He's huge numbers outside, and Maloney again. He dearly loved to pick up another score for his team. Coffee yeah. has. McCarthy, who flicks it out the back door again. Seven, come on, Fitz. There's numbers on the yeah, outside for Blackrock if they want to put width on this, but in close, the defence hasn't been all that strong either. They keep hammering down that door in close for the referee. Holding on is the call from referee Callan. Yeah, he's cleanly on that. And a little right. bit of a reprieve there for Terenure, as we see. Change is coming in for the Blackrock team as Will Seven. Fitzgerald is coming on for Coffey. He might hold off that ball. Was it you I pulled off there? That was a big turnover from You're the turnier captain, Reggie no Dyer Brooks. You, you know, he's made a lot that. of tackles, but that time he was managed to get in and get a, a key turnover and, and, and keep Blackrock at bay for okay, so a few nice. minutes at least. Blackrock now having the luxury of being able to uh, unload their bench a little bit, give everybody a bit of an opportunity to get a run here today. And maybe protect some of the other players as they will be advancing to the semi-final stage. The throw comes, it's hold good there, hold, this time hold. from Byrne. Yeah. Spots As Terenure up. try and build their way back into this yeah, game. Good. Kick over the top, it's easily taken though. And there's space on this outside. Well, maybe that pass should have gone. We'll get another crack at it though, to put some width on this. As we see Mullen go forward again, it's all so easy. Oh, and Bogby ball out, side to Walsh. Good tackle coming in from Kennedy that time. Maloney, lovely hands from him, great hands again, the front row hooking up. Holmes See to no McCarthy, space. good presentation as well. Easy one for Fitzgerald to move out, but a little bit isolated there. There was a chance for Terenior, just couldn't quite get that turnover. Holmes now, stepping push back, back inside push, again. Push, push, Yeah. Gerald moving it out towards goal. Lovely step from the center. What a game he's having. All oh, the last pass just going to hand back inside towards Will Fitzgerald. But what a step that was from Hugh Cooney. Yeah, brilliant by Cooney. And I'll make you go get that next time. It's just a balance to the right, play from Black Rock. And fairness, I've been talking a lot about McCarthy, but Max Holmes, the loose end as well. No. His footballing ability, his scrummaging, and his ability to, to, to punch little holes when he carries has been really impressive. We're just seeing on the replay here. The yeah, that's footwork from, from Cooney. He spots the space and Pick very unfortunate to pass inside with Fitzgerald. Just, just drops at his feet. But uh, yeah, yeah, Holmes is another player to watch. Very impressive time. today. All your coaching experience, yeah. Bernard. Uh, as a coach, if I'm going to be ultra critical, we've seen a lot of one handed flicky out the back door style passes today and it's cost to Black Rock on more than one occasion where 
the straightforward pass might have worked and that's another occasion okay. maybe where a little bit more uh, sympathy on the pass would have led to a try. Yeah, absolutely, and I think that'll be something that Justin Van Stone, the Black Rock coach, you know, you will be taking out of the review here that, you know, they're going to get it away with today, the result is is done now, but certainly they have been a little bit sloppy in some of their, their passing, um, you yeah, know, and, and when they have two hands free in contact, it's definitely better to use that, but... Um, you know, it's hard to be critical when they've been so impressive, but that is one area that they definitely can do better in. It's just grumpy old man stuff from me. Craig! <laughs> Looking for perfection. Can't it. argue with their performance, though. Set! It has been relentless as Terran Your try and hold out this scrum. He stands! Stand! Fight! Left yeah. dude of his to use. Little step coming in from. O'Shaughnessy. Oh, great hit coming in. And right to the end, it's turn your team putting in these huge tackles. They haven't been found wanting, just slightly outclassed today. As the gap opens up here for Cork, and once again, we see a little, little flick pass that works on this occasion to Mullen. On they go. Fitzgerald looks to dig that one out. He has it again. It's Captain McCarthy to the other McCarthy. On they go again. Front row combining really well. Good step back inside again. No, he's lost. He haven't got it. As Blackrock keeps hammering away at this line. Lovely pass from Holmes. Short. Just over the top. Maloney drags short. You see Jackson trying to find his way towards it. Feels somewhat inevitable. McCarthy again towards Maloney. Keeps going forward. Short he'll just again. be held up uh, towards Mullen. He'll drop the shoulder. He's turned though. Short up line. Good defence again from Terenor. The pick and drive is there. And sub scrum half will Fitzgerald just managing to pick that one up. And a little pick and drive from close in. Okay, All the work haven't been done by his forwards advantage. before that, and in the end, Terenor just running out of numbers okay, so in defence. We've got to try. Yeah, but again, Will it's just the ability to. Place? to hit the ball at pace, Tom. to be strong in contact and recycle. And fairness, again, look at the bravery from, from, yeah. from Terran Yor. They're trying to slow that ball down, but yeah, even the replacement scrum half, he's, he's so nippy, he's so aware of where the space is. And with Fitzgerald, just dives under the covering Terran Yor tackles to, to get another Blackrock try. Yeah, and as this game comes to the latter stages, understandably, from all of the defensive work that Terran Yor are having to put in, the tiredness and fatigue, Starting to creep in there and just running out of numbers. Stop and wait. I'll do that. Oh, I see. see Jack Burke okay. setting himself up for this, and McCarthy getting a well-earned break. More subs coming in. Huge, huge performance from. Paddy McCarthy, who will now get a rest as Andreas Anderson comes on to replace him. And the two points easily added. Yeah, it's a good weekend for McCarthy family. Yeah, right his, uh, Paddy's going to be into right. the semi finals of the oh. Leicester Senior Cup, and his brother played his third game for Leinster in the win over Benetton Treviso yesterday. We are now with the left footed restart going long, taken on by the captain again. Full of running. Fitness levels immense within this Black Rock squad. Jackson now takes it on that little bit further. Use Held it! Barking Don't orders. Puts that box Good. kick in. That's a been touched. Low. Taken easily this time by Jim Kennedy, but he's dragged around like a rag doll there by Liam Maloney. Still Lose. manages to get the ball Come back. On. Good work there take from step, the turn your fullback. There's a big size distance. Okay, tackle four out. Pound for pound, fought Good. hard. Off we go again. Good line coming back inside. Oh, Black Rocker on that ball straight away, though. Referee maybe being a little bit generous. Tackle! Nakamura. Come out! Hauling players back in. Still in. No. Just push there. Gonna put some distance on this, try and get out of their own half. Boot coming, organising the chasing it. line around them. Up it goes. They need to get in the air. It's a loose one, picked up. 
well by Byrne. Now, can they go from this? On goes Ben Nolan. Down this blind side they come. Good pass. Oh, it just doesn't go to hand. Bounces off the chest of Vaughan. Once again, turned over. Advantage. Blackrock will use this gladly as Holmes tries to get more involved in this game. No advantage. Lost forward. Go back for that knock Sorry, on. Uh, disappointing there for Terran. you a real chance on yeah, that turnover. Yeah, a really good kick from, from the replacement nine, Peter McNamara, and, and good chase up. And we saw Keith, okay. Keith Burner, who's in fairness, he's never given up. He's been a part of a, a front of run of pressure, uh, but his work around the field, up, yeah. his tackle count, and his, his ability to try and chase, and chase little into scraps it. like that has been immense. But unfortunately for them, they just couldn't build a couple of phases when they had Black Rock on the, on the back foot. Right. Great. Tom Murray coming on for Terran Yore in place Five. of Regan Gallagher. All of the Terran Yore players Set. now starting to get a bit of game time. Good scrum there from Terran Yore. Good pressure as well coming in from McNamara, making a nuisance of himself and causing that turnover. And they're not giving up this Terran Yore team. No, great pressure from Peter McNamara. And that's, in fairness, that's, they got a nudge on the scrum as well. And they had Black Rock's yeah. angle Two. turned on the, on the left hand ball. side. So, on the right-hand side, the tight-hand side, so it was easier for Peter McNamara to get to the Blackrock replacement the the nine, Wilfus Sherrill, and he times it perfectly and just gets a valuable turnover and just gives him a little chance to maybe launch something with a back line of being started in possession. No, no, not head on head. Now, what can Terran Ewer do off this scrum? They need to secure their own ball, first of all. Set. Then Nolan is at the back. They'll try and get that ball back towards him. It's taken yeah. by McNamara, though. He moves it out well. Towards Villar, a little left foot dink through. Which way is this one going to bounce? Up into the arms of Cooney as he comes across. Well, 18! Won't 18. hang around in their own half. 18, Sam. Thank you. As Listen to me, okay? Murray steps back there. Villar again. Bringing in Clark. I haven't seen much of the winger. Ball not getting to him a lot. Backwards, Villar. Right behind. Tidied up by O'Leary there again down the blind side they go there's space here step back inside by Shannon Lost. still have it lovely little dink oh. yeah. may have been the wrong option there the yard and the difference. from Murray just trying to put it in behind the defenders the line is yours. and Liam Maloney has done enough for today big performance for him in this game huge amount of carries He'll be replaced by Connor Tong. Can we can we send it? Just count it. Just count you it. get a feeling that James Clark has, has got something. Right. Reggie he hasn't got a lot of touches, but when he does get the ball, he looks late, dangerous and certainly one to keep an eye on in the future. You know, when he comes out of school and, and see where he goes. Yeah, I'd love to see him in a little bit of space, but so far today that hasn't been the case. Because Blackrock are dominating, and on they go again. And Jackson. Advantage. So much today too. Now we're on the way. Andreas Anderson with the carry. Still advantage. Down we go again. McCarthy. Good hands again towards Cooney. Just not going to hand on this occasion. On a rare one going to ground for Blackrock. Owen Walsh on not able to take that one. But we will go back for the penalty. Yeah, just turn your cut in the wrong side Number of the rope there as as Blackrock once again used big Kevin Jackson to, to crash it up over the gain line off off a line out and it must be so the turn your players must be so fatigued. They know they've brought in a lot of a lot of the replacements, but yeah. it's just been relentless the physical effort. Yeah, right. um, they've had to expand to try and stay in stake yeah. in this game and keep Black out, Blackrock out. We happy? Can we go? The water breaks going on now for the players, as you said. Tiredness creeping in. Is he okay? Time off? Yeah. Sorry, my bad. Referee just Sorry. checking on an injury for the turn your team. I think everybody quite happy just to take a little bit of a breather okay? at this stage. We have three more let's games go. Rock, let's go. to come this week. Tomorrow, Guys, Tuesday on, and go. Wednesday. All here on Premier Sport. From 2.50. 
left footed kick. Burke just slightly going off the outside of his boot. You see, on, on top of everything else that Turnure have to contend with now, the wind is picking up a little bit into their face. Don't get involved, that's about. Yeah, I, I, I even more advantage well. to Blackrock. So the call comes in to Gus McCarthy from Max Holmes. Fine. Movement around, they hit. Hold! Tong. Hold! Good ball, yep. good quick early ball. Referee just getting in the way of that one. Might as well. Probably been Sorry. expecting them to carry it up around that corner. It's hard for him to know where to position himself. Yeah. And because of the variety of how Blackrock have, have attacked off the line, it is difficult for him. But you can see there they're trying to just get into that 10 channel. Uh, using Jackson as a little breakout play, a little fake ball, and going in. Holmes is, is coming off now, having had a big shift. Yes, indeed, the entire front row really involved as Keen O'Brien comes in there to get some game time in this cup campaign for Holmes. Good ball again, it's out. Quickly picked up from the base, out they go, Quirk. Good run again from Cooney. Stepping back inside, well presented, Mullen. On he goes. Covering from that knock he took earlier. There's Tom Brigg, in fact, now it's Mullen. Fine, no tackle there. Carthy again stepping back inside, a little bit isolated, but now just to turn the ball around. Kevin Jackson flicks it on to the replacement, Keen O'Brien. Fitzgerald putting a good ball outside there again. Push back, go back, yep. Mixing it up well between forward and backs. McCarthy, who doesn't know if he's a forward or a back. But on this occasion, oh, yeah. just getting a little bit isolated, and it's a turnover again from Terenor. Yeah, great work on the breakdown there by replacement Matthew Lydon. Just gets in, gets his hands on it, along with his big second row partner, Coan Doyle, who's, who's still there, having, you know, despite shipping a big knock early in the game, he's, he's hanging in there, and he's probably going to go to full length. Another substitution coming in for Terry Noor as Keith Burns Day is done and Sean Keegan will come in to get his opportunity at Cup Rugby. Pressure on the young hooker now. Oh, be daunting throw. You know all about it, Bernard. Uh, right in front of the Blackrock College fans who are giving him plenty of stick and their encouragement, they probably call it, but he's got that one right. What a great throw that was. The encouragement worked. But it was knocked on afterwards by one of the other players. Scrum calls. But now, unfortunately for him, and the Black Rock are going to, you know, have a, another scrum. And you know, the, the, the variety of their backline attack has been been really impressive, and they've got threats all over the park. Open this gap up a bit more. I don't want pre-engage, or I'm going to start sanctioning this. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Crouch. Find. Set. In goes the ball from Fitzgerald. It's there Balls at the out. base. It just squirts out again. And McNamara has been very lively at getting on those loose balls. Manages to get that one and turn it over. On goes the come captain, out, out, Ro no, Dara no. Brooks. Yeah, stay on the back foot next. With a pick and drive. Use it. Standing in that out half position, work on the outside. It's good hands again. Now they have a crit singer. Pushes it on the outside towards Van Zydem. Push back. Go back. Go back. Ball safe. It's loose again yep. and a little Still bit backwards. scrappy in around the base from Black Rock. You can see McNamara again trying to scramble to get his hands on that ball. Big carry Four coming in. Off come off. Come off. Anderson. No. 21 stop. Change things stop. now. The chase is on nice. McCarthy again. Which way is this one going to bounce? Just bobbles out of play. But again, McCarthy, Keith Wood like lurking on that wing. Yeah, he's a he's a really bright prospect. He's he's all around. I think that's his last his last act. He's, he's going off. But uh, we saw a big carry there from Andreas Anderson, who's a, a boarder in Blackrock College all the way from Arizona. So uh, you know, great for him to be getting to play a part in, in Leicester Senior Cup. 
captain Gus McCarthy making room now for Jack Angulo. Yeah, Jack Angulo was captain of the Junior Cup team here, who played in November, very good player as well, uh, he was number eight. Keegan with his second throw, that one doesn't quite go to hand. Lovely little offload there, and on they go through Mikey Yar, who's come on as well. Fitzgerald, big carry coming in from O'Brien. Fine. We've got numbers on the outside again. They're using that space, Gritzinger, over the top, beautifully floated pass, all the way over the top. And what a brilliant finish that is, has he made it? I think he's in touch, I think Clark got I'm back to him. Looked like Van Zyden he's in touch before the ball had plenty time? of space okay, in you. front of him. Touch is the call, though. No Eric was happy with the ground and Reggie, but um, I think Clark in the scramble got to him and pulled him in touch. What a beautiful pass it was from Kritzinger, though. The, the weight on it was absolutely perfect over the top, just taking the defenders completely out of play. And as you said, brilliant scramble tackle coming Fancy across middle. there from Clark. Who's half-back? Half-back. Turn your short bit, they're trying to. If he's half, if he's baffle half Black Rock, but Black Rock okay, are matching the man to man. There's some movement in this towards the front. We've got Brooks now. Oh, that one just goes loose, but it's picked up and tidied well at the back by Shannon. Okay, just nothing away here. Turn your with a chance to work their way out of this. Don't, it goes don't. back don't. towards the arms and that boot. No need for it. Doesn't quite find touch, they'll need to get a good chasing line turn your as Maloney will move this one out on the open side. A little flick Fine. over the top of basketball style to Van Zyden on the outside towards Walsh with no one in front of him. The easiest finish for our own Walsh into the corner. And again, the handling skill from this Blackrock back line. Sublime. Yeah, and again, it's a problem if you don't miss, if you don't make touch. Just given levels of fatigue that Ternier had, the kick chase wasn't as good as it needed to be, and Blackrock held her wit. Lovely pass from Connor Shock to see at the end to put Walsh away, but this is the, the bounce pass caused all kinds of trouble. And once again, it's Hugh Cooney seems to have all the time in the world. Gives the pass to a shot and see, and yeah, there's not much that oh, Ternier you know? can do there. It's a, it's a run in in the end, but another good finish yeah, from yeah. Blackrock. <laughs> yeah, easy in the end for Walsh. Especially with the pace he has, just to find space on the outside and avoid the covering Diego Fernandez Villar. Conor O'Shaughnessy has taken over the kicking duties now. Take all his skills to curl this one in. Writes it well, but it's just gone to the left on this occasion. So with that miss, the score is now brought to 48 points for Blackrock. And you're yet to get on the scoreboard. Aguilar launches that one again. A little bit of confusion. They're Fighting each other to get on the ball now, the Black Rock Same. players, but Hugh Co Cooney took that one. And it goes through Kevin Jackson again. Yeah, well done. All available for Fitzgerald, using his big runners, Keen O'Brien. Push back. Fine, he's through the back. Happy. Use it! All oh, there available again. Now, Winger! Winger! Stop! A little stop. bit of distance back on that one. Off Loud side. blast of the whistle, the referee. They're looking to go quickly here. here. If you want. To Kennedy, little top and go. Blackrock players need to be careful that they weren't within the 10. Their arm goes out from the referee. Through the middle they go again. Turn your. And their fans. Screaming encouragement at them. They dearly love for them to get a score before the end of this game. Taken on now by Matthew Lydon. Whistle goes again. The referee will bring it back over towards this corner. Number 18, not back 10, offside again. The 
And there's Villar. Puts that one into the corner now. Do you expect to see the driver? Will they go straight off the top uh, of this one, Bernard? Yeah, I, I don't, we haven't really had, they haven't had much secure lineup Lines ball, are, so it'll be interesting. I don't think they'll get much purchase out of this Black Rock pack, even though there's been a lot yeah, of replacements yeah, if they take it down and drive. But, you know, maybe looking to get the ball into Fernandez Villar's hands and um, get him over the gain line and then get the pick and go game. But winning the ball will be the first the first challenge with so many new players on, it can be a little bit disruptive. Comes in, it's well okay. taken this time. They try and shift Sack the direction, good. Sack good. sacked immediately by Black Rock. Calls from the crowd the that it was done illegally, 17. but it looked perfectly fine. Now they'll try and get the pick and drive going. Tough Rain task advantage. against this Black Rock outfit. <laughs> On they go, Terran Big hits coming in. Black Rock, we want to defend the line. That one just looked like it was knocked forward. Offside is the call from the referee. So they'll get another chance at it. Yeah, I think the sack was legal, as you said, Reg Reggie, but they were just offside from the pick and go after that. Who's captain? Referee just going to have a quick word. Just keep the ball there. Calling for the captain there. Maloney, who has taken over since. They're just starting to get good ball. We're losing off. our discipline a little bit. Okay, do you want to have a quick word? Okay, just finish this out with 15 on the pitch. Asking him to talk Twice to his I've asked him to have forwards word, okay. about. Okay, now in your time. Great spirit from Terran, you're in fairness, despite being heavily behind on the scoreboard, Reggie. They're going at Black Rock Stay now, again. trying to, I want you to, trying to get a score of their own and finish the game with a little bit of a positive. 16. Need to get this line out right. Keegan now with the throw. Movement is there. A little bit of shift, the throw is good. The shifted point of attack fine. again. Once again, the sack is good for Blackrock, but it's been picked up as Sorry. Nolan goes forward. So close, little drive towards the corner to reach. Did they keep it in, or has the defense worked? Not Touch it was right there. Yeah, okay, five meters from. Yeah, he didn't get it down, Reggie. I think, unfortunately, huge effort from him, from Doyle. But just as he re reached the first Blackrock. They're giving nothing away, they're fighting for every inch defensively as well as everything they did in an attacking point of view and make a turn, you're really Down worth for this. I was happy with the timing. Walsh and yeah, Mullen, the second row, Second's just managing to close out that corner area. So last one, let's keep a gap on this and, and straighten up, yeah. Turn Thanks. your scrum have been under pressure just here at the reach. Oh, what a strong Fine. cover that was from Owen Walsh coming Set. in there and just making that tackle, managing to keep them out. Rock have won that one. Oh, okay. injury here, head injury. Head injury. We're going to have to stop okay. just to make it sure like it looked okay. like. Yeah. Yeah. Just off the I'll just stop base him. of that scrum, yeah, maybe in the tackle a took, a took a heavy impact. Yeah, it was a, another huge carry off the back from from the number eight Jackson, and it looked like a tackle technique. Um, just wasn't great, and seemed to maybe get a knee in the head. Yeah, closest turn you have come all day, almost getting there, but defence just keeping them out. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Part yeah, Ben Nolan nearly got there, and again, we saw the yeah. huge effort, double tackle from Blackrock second row, and also the Blackrock wing. Owen Walsh stopped Kuan Doyle from, from scoring in the corner. Yeah, it's Fernandez Villar uh, yeah. who, who took the knock, and... You know, he's, he hasn't had a lot of ball, but he's shown what a talent he is. Unfortunately, he's gone off now for HIA. Yeah. I'll we'll have to check that, make sure he's okay. Mark's on me, okay? On me. We'll use Very disappointed mark. going off. Lion is going to be the mark. Left each, yeah. Up. Under the circumstances where his team... Have had so much pressure, but have put in so much effort all day. They have never given up, and even now, as we're in this corner, Bernard, 
you know, you have to give huge credit to Terenure, and that's not being in any way condescending. They really have given everything that they've got that's against fine. what is just right. arguably a very, very strong BlackRock team. Absolutely, it's always been a trademark of Terenure, how greedy and uh, how hard, hard they work for each other, and it's been the same today. But this BlackRock team, in my opinion, could be special. They they've they've shown a different layer of, of quality today that they weren't able to show against Michaels because of the competitiveness, but uh, they look like a quality yeah. outfit and are going to be hot favourites to win the cup after this. Okay, guys. And that's the final whistle there from referee Callan, a game that saw eight tries in total and the Black Rock team that were in control from start to finish, putting up a huge score of 48 points against the Terenure side who gave it everything right to the very end. And full time here in Energy Park is Black Rock 48, Terenure nil. And that's all we have time for today. Don't forget, we will be back all this week long with coverage of the other three quarterfinals. Tomorrow sees Gonzaga up against Wesley College, and we're on air at 10 to 3. My thanks to Bernard Jackman for joining me here this afternoon. We'll see you all tomorrow. of the South Africans. Heavyweight March on Premier Sports. Sustainability has been my passion for years. Ever since I moved to Sevilla 15 years ago. Today, I work developing major renewable energy projects at Amazon. Like this one, one of our largest solar projects in Europe. It transforms the sunlight into clean energy for our operations. I'm proud to help build a better future. Whatever your dreams, little one, together we can make them come true. If we learn today, we can build tomorrow. Inspired by 40 years of breast milk research, Aptamil follow-on milk contains vitamin D to support the normal function of the immune system today for tomorrow. Trust the UK's number one brand for follow-on milks including Aptamil Organic Follow-on Milk, made with certified organic ingredients. Imagine me and you, I do. I think about your day and night. It's only right to think about the girl you love. And hold her All new Toyota Yaris so Cross, our first ever compact hybrid SUV. <gasps> For whatever the day throws at you, Hello, hybrid happiness. Set your business free with Starling Bank. Connect to leading accounting software to track transactions in real time and never manually upload a statement again. Download the app and switch to Starling. Winner of Best British Bank, four years running. Shh. Want to feel as comfortable as this little guy? And try new air pocket texture, only from Andrex. So cushiony. For our ultimate quilted comfort that leaves you feeling... Oh, amazing. No matter what you're getting up or down to, discover new Andrex Supreme Quilts. Clean is a feeling.
your car insurance is up for renewal. <sighs> what if car insurance wasn't... Imagine the better you drive, the less you pay. <laughs> and if you wanted to cancel your monthly subscription any time for free, you could. Wow. Download cover. Mate, just download the cover app. You can sort it all from your phone. For real. Cover. Save up to a third on your car insurance. Download the cover app now. Nice shop, nice baby, nice, nice, nice. Aunt Helga, the pleasure is yours. Good at knitting, bad at building websites. Relax, darlings. Websites, hosting, domains. I own this. I own this. I own this. Happy Jumpers! Websites, hosting, domains. I own us.